Hi, I'm Sherry. I'm the Agriculture and Natural Resources Educator here in Allegheny County, and I'm sorry I couldn't be here with you today. But I did want to share a success story with you, uh, something that happened this summer that I'm very excited about. Um, a lady named Heather Hudson from Salvation Army contacted me and she had an apple picking project and she asked if I could go and just check out the quality of the fruit from this orchard which is located in Cumberland and all the fruit from this, com this um, orchard is donated by Mr. Lou Simmons and he's been doing this for the last 16 years. Mr. Lou Simmons is a World War II veteran. He's 90 years old. He actually served on an aircraft carrier in the Pacific so I had to call up Mr. Simmons and get permission to go on his property and he gave me his permission and I went down there and I checked out the fruit and man it was just beautiful. Mr. Simmons has an orchard with about 150 apple trees and 25 peach trees and as I said every year for the last 16 years he has donated this fruit and he what he wants is to get this fruit into the hands of needy people, people who can can use this food but he told me that increasingly it's uh, been hard to get something like this organized, to get people to come out and pick, and then to get it distributed. So that gave me an opportunity to tell him about the Western Maryland Food Council, which is a recently uh, organized group out here that um, Extension has had a big part in getting off the ground and getting up running. And uh, I said, I told him and I told Heather, I said, you know, what you're trying to do overlaps with uh, the goals of the Western Maryland Food Council and Extension. Uh, we want to help people be more food secure and uh, get healthy food into the hands of people that need it. So they invited Extension and the Western Maryland Food Council to collaborate with them in order to get this fruit picked and distributed to folks uh, in the, in the Tri-County area. So I brought this uh, project up at a staff meeting and I told my fellow extension uh, co-workers I said you know I really need some help with this I mean this is 150 trees we need to get picked and it's got to be picked in a short time and you know everybody just um, just they, they all stood behind me and helped me they gave me advice on maybe how to get this organized and get it uh, implemented. They gave me contacts for people to call, people, uh, organizations, civic organizations that could maybe use the apples. I had folks collecting boxes and people making phone calls for me. And everything just kind of fell together and it was just really amazing. Um, I mean, we must have collected I don't know, 300 boxes, and my husband drove his army truck down from Garrett County. And on the day that we picked, we had about 35 volunteers all day, and most of them were from our extension family. They were either um, employees, or they were 4-H volunteers, or they were master gardeners. We also had some people from Maryland Department of Agriculture come, and also the Western Maryland Food Council. So all in all, we had 35 folks. We got about 125 trees picked by mid-afternoon, and then what we did was we then gave a list to each volunteer and then they would take however many boxes of apples and then distribute them to the organizations that said they could use them. So we had about 22 different civic organizations that received these apples. We picked over three tons of apples that day and all of our apples, they went to uh, homeless shelters, food pantries, soup kitchens, schools, senior centers, it was just marvelous and when we delivered these apples I mean people were just so excited and grateful and I can't tell you uh, how wonderful it was uh, just amazing how all of this just came together and it was this collaboration across programming and between various different civic organizations and I'm just so grateful to everyone who helped and um, Western Maryland Food Council Extension and uh, I just think it was an amazing win for everybody, especially for the citizens of Garrett and Allegheny County. And also we helped some, some West Virginia folks in Mineral and Preston County. So I just wanted to share that with you and say, you know, sometimes things just pull together and the result is amazing. Thank you everyone for helping out.